Hello everyone, this is the Super Week Maker and today I decided to make a video about a custom order that I have and it's about a topper that a lady has requested. Now this lady is wearing a topper that has the dimensions of 6 inches to 3 inches which is kind of uh, a little bit too stretched if you can say that and it also if you see it from the inside you can see that it has wefts sewn in everywhere so it's not really any high definition or something it does have a parting option the only thing you can do with it is to have the un the topper just fluffed up so it just covers your head it's it is also made from synthetic hair and it's not very long which is something that you know it's good because we're gonna use human hair in there so making it shorter will save a lot of uh, money now I have already told her that having this size of uh, a topper is not very uh, it's not working with the, the dimensions of the top of the head because the top of the head is a little bit more you know more proportionate like more squarish and less uh, oblong so I told, told her that instead of six inches um, depth it's good enough for her to have five inches only and instead of three inches width it's good for her to have four inches so it's one inch wider and one inch shorter if you please so this is gonna be more square so I decided to use amazing hair store lace I could have used the BHT lace because it's very strong and for a topper it would be a good option but I think that the amazing hair store lace is gonna be very good because it's also quite strong I'm gonna uh, fold the the perimeter of the of the thing so it's gonna be a little bit more sturdy in the edges and what we also said with her is that we're gonna make like one centimeter or a little less um, perimeter that it's gonna have like thick density so all around the perimeter it's gonna have thick hair so she won't be able to part it in the edges but the inside part is going to be full high definition so she will be able to make partings and uh, work like that she said also that she is having bangs with the piece so for her uh, having thick perimeter is not a huge problem because this way it's easier for her to hide the the clips and the whole thing whatsoever so this is how i'm gonna do it so i just uh, glued this little piece that I had cut just some tape and I'm just gonna remove it now and I have marked the area approximately it doesn't have to be identical and I'm going to cut off a little bit from the sides because I don't want the seams to be like extremely huge So for the color of this um, unit and the hair as well, she is having almost a platinum blonde, but it's not so white. So we also said that we're gonna use both human hair and synthetic. Um, the synthetic hair that I'm gonna be using is the high heat Japanese um, fibers. And this is the color of 613 and 60, which is not too yellow or too white. So it's a good thing to lift up the color and the base of the, um, the human hair that I'm going to be using is the same hair that I used for the hairline that I did with this hair that is like um, like a number 22 if I could say so, like number 22 or 24. So this and this together are going to make a light color and I'm planning to use this a 50-50% ratio. So, this is the finished product, as you can see, um, it's against high contrast, of course, and you can see if I part it like that, 
that it has the double knots here and a little bit more hair, slightly more dense. Here as well. And here as well. Overall, the piece has natural density and of course this, this side. Um, I have to say something about the usage of um, both synthetic and human hair. Now this hair was uh, Euro in texture. It was thin and beautiful and everything. And the synthetic hair is definitely more uh, uh, thinner and finer than uh, the human hair. So the combination makes this hair look like baby hair. So beautiful and so um, fine and everything. So I think it's going to work very well with the European people. And also the, the combination makes, first of all, it, the, the synthetic hair bring the luster and the shine to the piece uh, as well as very thin strands that contribute to making this look more creamy and the human hair brings the natural look the scattered uh, shine pattern so it doesn't have too too much shine and it it's a little bit more dull and it also scatters the light better because of the the, the hair scales and everything so the combination is a killer because you can have a very beautiful color. This color is very pale. It's like a very light, uh, pale Swedish blonde with some golden tones in there. Still, uh, it's not over bleached or anything because the light part is made with synthetic hair, 613 and 60. So it's all good. It's all good and beautiful. Um, she will be able to part it and make different things like that because this is all full single strand single knot as I said and of course she will have to do whatever she wants with it she will have to cut it because it's very long let me just see if I'm you see that it's very long I mean if I was gonna wear that it was gonna be like chin length and she has like really short hair so she can do whatever she wants with it um, yeah, pretty much that's it. I might add, I don't know, I'm gonna see because I can't ship it right now because it's Easter. I might have to add a little bit here in the seams, more hair, but I don't find it necessary because this thing can very easily hide things. Okay, and yeah, pretty much that's it. And I hope you enjoy this. I'm gonna ship it to this lady and hopefully she likes it. And she's gonna make good use of that. You can see how it looks on the inside. This is, let me just place it somehow like this. That was my measuring tape. This is about four inches to five inches, as I promised to her. And you can see the double lace over here. And I'm gonna put the clips right now and this is gonna be ready to ship and even if you put it here you can see how nice that looks against skin well maybe you won't be able to see that with this light anyway I'm gonna put the clips right now and I'm gonna show you the outcome 